Hi, welcome to those who are new and welcome back to those who are returning. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's thirsty here, but you'll see this tomorrow. Yes, you'll see this tomorrow. This is not a bulk of filming. <laughs> oh, where to start? <laughs> so the money that was stuffed in the sinking fund video had to be used. So that is being completed. Um, so yes, I was able to save that, but then I turned around and used it. But that's okay. I had it. I was glad. But today we're starting anew again, starting fresh, and we're going back to basics. One basic is I am going to start doing bi-weekly wallet stuffing because I get paid every two weeks. And we're going to be using cash. I did leave about $20 in the bank account just in case I needed something that I couldn't use cash for so it is in the bank for that but we're going to be using cash uh, because we're using cash that means we're going to have a lot of change so we're going to be doing the every dime counts to stuff our change now, I did put uh, Mandy's budgeting journey on this and still budgeting items because what it closed. And this is now available down in the Google Drive. So if you like to have this and start this version with us, it is linked down below. The original is also linked. So you, it was saved, I think, $55. This one's $84. It's up to you which one you want to start. But you're saying, but Mandy, I'm a digital. I use my card. I don't do cash. But want to save coins or save change? I got you. I got you. So for those who are digital, you still can do the every dime count challenge. Instead of doing like $2 or 10 cents you can do this once uh, once a day daily you can do this once a week once a month whatever you're comfortable with doing but what you can do is put the date you're doing it and then look into your checking or your account to see how much the change is and then transfer it into a savings account I am going to be doing both. So let me, while we're at this, let me go ahead and see how much change I have in my bank account here. I won't show you that, but I will write it down because you all don't need to know my account number. <laughs> I have 84 cents. And you'll see this tomorrow, but today is the fifth one I'm filming. So the total saved would be 84. And the next time we transfer it over, you just put the date, the amount, and you add it to this 84 cents. And you're able to track to see how much you're saved. These are 30 lines, so it's 30, 30 times you can save it. So this will also be linked down below. And while I'm at it, let me go ahead and do the transfer. So now you can see I saved 84 cents. <laughs> okay. So I will I haven't got this hole punched yet, but we'll be doing this. So again, both of these are linked down below. Here in just a moment. You know what? Let's just go ahead and do this while we're here. And I don't have a marker, so let's get a highlighter. So I have some change here 
and since it's almost fall, it's fall to me, we're going to be using this pumpkin to add our change to. I found it at the Dollar, store, uh, Dollar General store. So let's see. Let me count how much change, and I'll be right back, that we have. Okay, we have added four dollars and sixty-eight cents. Now, I, this uh, the lowest you're saving this is ten, and the highest is two dollars. So we won't. We'll just count the eight cents as extra, and that's okay to do that. So let's see, four dollars. Let's do the two dollars, a dollar and ten cents for. Two, Four dollars and sixty cents. We'll do the sixty. All right, we're off to a good start on this. So I may add the change into like the regular savings challenges videos too. Just depends on if I have any at the time of recording. Okay, so we got. We talked about the coins, so let me get set up for the stuffing of my wallet. Now it's been a very long time. I think I did this when I started uh, doing budgeting on YouTube, but I can't exactly remember. So if you go back, way back in the day you probably can see it <laughs> and the categories here's my wallet I may go down uh, may get something else for a wallet but I didn't want to didn't want to spend much at all on it so I just used what I had. So let's count this to see how much we have. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 195, 200, 5, 10, 15, 25. So 225 buckaroos is what we have. How is your week going? Uh, a week went, I should say, because we've seen this on Friday. We're here. So this is the amounts we're adding. And I need to make sure that my cheat sheet's here so I can see the increments. I don't want to show you my cheat sheet because... I don't want to see you let you see what's coming up for the next video. You have to wait to see. That's coming to you on Monday. Alright, so for food, we all know what food is. Shouldn't have to explain it. <laughs> if you're human, you need it. <laughs> I don't know what else we watch in my videos, maybe an alien or something, but <laughs> Maybe it's one of Amanda's aliens that she always has in her savings challenges. <laughs> okay, so for food, we're going to be adding $100, and that's going to be five twenty. So twenty, two, four, six, eight, one. I will fix the tracker here in just a second. I'm gonna put nine five added or deposit plus one hundred balance is a hundred. Next we have gas. We're adding fifty dollars and that's gonna be two twenties and two fives. So that's twenty five dollars a week. 5, 10, 20, 20, 40, 
$45.50. I feel out of sorts because I haven't done this in so long. <laughs> I do, I just, but I have to do it to help me get back on track. Added plus 50 equals 50. Miscellaneous, we're adding 25, and that's going to be two tens and five, four. Miscellaneous, I see anything that pops up unexpected or anything I need that doesn't come out of food or gas but envelope. So 25 is going in. So 9, 5, added 25 equals 25 okay the last one is fun fun is anything that I want to do with the family but this particular money that's left is going to Olive's first uh, football game that is next weekend her first home football game, first performance on the field at halftime as at her university, at her new school. We're all excited. I did get a shirt made. I won't show you what school, but it says Band Mom on it. <laughs> um, I had that made way before all the mishaps happened. <laughs> So this should be 50 and this is for gas food um anything like that we may need at the game as you know that the concession stands at a university game versus a foot high school foot football game can be a lot different so that's the reason why this is so much next time i might not budget as much i just want to make sure i have enough that was 10 20 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And of course, anything I don't use can roll over to the next football game or we can throw it into savings. So, good deal. Here we go. And we'll put 9, 5. We're adding 50. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to put add. <laughs> I didn't realize these was meant for an A5 and this is an A6. So that's the reason why they're double hold. So, which is good. If so if I go to a bigger one, they'll fit. So there we go. There we have it. Don't forget the every dime counts both for the, um, coins and both for the transfer are linked down below in the google drive and monday's video we'll have um we're going to stuff our lo uh well i'll just have to let you wait and see keep you waiting for the whole weekend <laughs> all right guys i hope you have a wonderful weekend enjoy it I hope the weather is cooling down for you. It is for us. Uh, we had several uh, rain earlier this week and it's cooled it down. But I don't know how long it's going to last. Because you know, here in Kentucky, you can blink and it changes. Alright y'all, have a wonderful day and we'll see you Monday in Monday's video. Bye bye.